Hello, OAS family. We are reviewing a book today. This book is from a series of books called How to Paint, and it is book number 17 in that series. So the title of this book is How to Paint Songbirds. So there's something unique about this series. First of all, these books are quite small. You can see here that uh, the book is about eight and a quarter inches tall and about five and three quarter inches wide, which makes it really easy to just grab and have it on the go. Uh, so if you're going somewhere and you just need something for a little sort of a little bit larger than pocket inspiration, um, this book is not hard to carry. It's not uh, it's, it's very easy to have on you uh, and take wherever you might want to go. The other thing that's sort of unique about the, these books is that uh, the text is all in Chinese. So before you dismiss that as being, as the, before you dismiss the book uh, outright as being unuseful, um, I, I just like to offer that the illustrations in this book are relatively self-explanatory and I don't really find uh, that I'm that confused even if I can't understand the text. So. Hang in there, check out the rest of this review, and I think at the price point, even if you can't understand, um, uh, if, even if you don't read Chinese, uh, I think uh, the book is a very, very useful resource uh, due to some, some unique, aspect, uh, unique characteristics that it has. So as you can see as we go into the book, uh, it starts off uh, uniquely with a little bit of like an anatomy discussion. So it'll show you sort of pictures of different parts of the anatomy of the bird and it builds you kind of illustrative line work examples about how to paint or draw the anatomy. So you can see here there are the wings. This is sort of the tail feather section. Uh, and as we go, we get into the feet. And over here we have uh, the bird in sort of this, um, um, on, on a branch uh, in different perspectives uh, on different branches uh, filled in with different details. So this is an example of this sort of like illustrative instruction where uh, it shows you different stages of illustration. So you can kind of see how the different uh, strokes would sort of build on each other. Uh, as we go through here, we've got some different uh, uh, types of birds and, and their heads and how they're, how they're different and how you might go about rendering the different kinds of birds. They have longer beaks, shorter beaks, bigger heads, smaller heads, things like that. Um, and then here they sort of talk about uh, the bird in its different possible positions and um, uh, shows you how those positions are done with uh, sort of more simple shapes like you can just imagine the bird is just this egg with a tail on it and a head etc. So as we go through uh, we're gonna go a little bit more quickly here you can see here we've got some more uh, spontaneous style ink work um, and uh, there's a lot of the book uh, almost half the book is completely in ink so I like that because uh, with a more complex subject like birds, um, it's nice that you don't have to worry about color right away and you can just worry about uh, rendering the different types of birds and the different strokes uh, just with ink. So we can go through here, we see different types of songbirds, different types of compositions, all rendered in ink. Um, the birds on their own uh, with uh, different elements like branches. Um, so also different types of birds and also different kinds of styles. It's not all one painting style, which I like. So we're going through uh, and seeing all the ink examples. Uh, and there are quite a lot, which I like. Um, so in this relatively short, relatively small book, you have a lot of things, uh, inspiration. Um, so here we're getting into, you know, more full compositions here. This is like signed work where you're seeing the bird with, uh, it looks like a, maybe like a, on, on a fruit plant there. Um, so now we start to get into the color work, okay? And uh, you can see here that they're starting to introduce uh, concepts of color 
and we have more detailed renderings of the bird with more uh, sort of spontaneous renderings of the background. So they're mixing styles there, which is very interesting and quite nice. So as you can see here, there's lots of examples where they show you how to express all the different types of colors that you can see in these songbirds, and some of them are quite striking. Uh, so we're gonna go through and see all these different compositions. Again, we have a lot of different styles. I really like that one. I really like how uh, uh, abstract the, the plant that it's perching on is, and then the bird is quite detailed. All right, so here's uh, uh, the bird on a lotus leaf. That's really great. So different birds, again, a lot of different compositions and color. This is like the second half of the book. You can see we're starting to get into color work. Um, and you know, this, this book is uh, right now, currently when we're doing this video, the price of this book is only $11. So this is quite nice uh, for the value. Um, really, uh, a great sort of pocket reference and also um, really nice to have just to sort of get your inspiration juices flowing you know if you want to just look at a bunch of different styles of painting and uh, get like different ways to look at this subject uh, this is a great book for that all right so we're getting almost towards the end here and uh, so that's, that's basically the review of the book. Again, uh, How to Paint Songbirds. Uh, that's number 17 in the series. You can look at the description of this video and there will be links to the whole series of books so you can see the other series. And also you can uh, give us a comment if you thought this uh, review was helpful uh, or if you'd like us to change anything for future reviews. Of course, we're always eager for your feedback. Until then, happy painting and thank you. Uh, uh, you can go to our website at www.orientalartsupply.com.